I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. Most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. I really had a lot of dreams when I was a kid. And I think a great deal of that grew out of the fact that I had a chance to read a lot. If you give people tools and they use their natural abilities and their curiosity, they will develop things in ways that will surprise you very much beyond what you might have expected. As we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. In terms of doing things, I take a fairly scientific approach to why things happen and how they happen. I don't know if there's a God or not. DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software ever created. Measuring programming progress by lines of code is like measuring aircraft building progress by weight. Computers are great because when you're working with them, you get immediate results that let you know if your program works. It's feedback you don't get from many other things. The vision is really about empowering workers, giving them all the information about what's going on so they can do a lot more than they've done in the past. It's fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. Power comes not from knowledge kept, but from knowledge shared. I believe that if you show people the problems and you show them the solutions, they will be moved to act. Technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them. The teacher is the most important. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Like almost everyone who uses email, I receive a ton of spam every day. Much of it offers to help me get out of debt or get rich quick. It would be funny if it weren't so exciting. Well, I went for a ride, but I didn't find my car. Whatever other resources you may have, you can always use your voice and your vote to effect change. It may sound old-fashioned, but letters and phone calls to your elected officials can have a real impact. If you want to understand the kind of damage that climate change will inflict, look at COVID-19 and then imagine spreading the pain out over a much longer period of time. In my view, investing in public libraries is an investment in the nation's future in this business, by the time you realize you are in trouble, it's too late to save yourself. Unless you're running scared all the time, you're gone. Most people overestimate what they can accomplish in a day and overestimate what they can accomplish in a year. The problem of over-generation in the summer and under-generation in the winter. But giving people more information can help them make better choices. How many people will be killed by COVID-19 versus by climate change? In essence, governments can say to each other, if you want to do business with us, you'll have to take climate change seriously. It's the main thing I do in my life. I read and I chew glasses. That's my job. Artificial meats come with hefty green premiums, however. On average, a ground beef substitute costs 86% more than the real thing. The most effective tree-related strategy for climate change is to stop cutting down so many of the trees we already have. The green premiums answer these questions, measuring the cost of getting to zero sector by sector and highlighting where we need to innovate. 
In particular, green premiums are a fantastic lens for making decisions. It's aviation, trucking and shipping, not passenger cars, that account for all the emissions growth in this sector. I'm glad I've invested all that time learning about electricity. For one thing, it was a great father-son activity. Seriously. The world needs to provide more energy so the poorest can thrive, but we need to provide that energy without releasing any more greenhouse gases. Fission, carbon capture and sequestration, offshore wind, cellulosic ethanol, a type of advanced biofuel, and meat alternatives. Nuclear power kills far, far fewer people than cars do. For that matter, it kills far fewer people than any fossil fuel. What's remarkable to me is not how much emissions went down because of the pandemic, but how little. If you could pick just one thing to lower the price of, to reduce poverty, by far you would pick energy. Why do energy transitions take so long anyway? Because coal plants are not like computer chips. If you want to do business with us, you'll have to take climate change seriously. If we get a breakthrough in cheap hydrogen, for example, we might not need to worry as much about getting a magic battery. I'm also a technophile. Show me a problem and I'll look for technology to fix it. CGIR is the world's largest agricultural research group. In short, it helps create better plants and better animal genetics. A hotter climate means there will be more frequent and destructive wildfires. The world needs to provide more energy so the poorest can thrive, but we need to provide that energy without releasing any more greenhouse gases. Now, the problem seemed even harder. It's easy to feel powerless in the face of a problem as big as climate change, but you're not powerless. It wasn't enough to deliver cheap, reliable energy for the poor. It also had to be clean. The countries that build great zero-carbon companies and industries will be the ones that lead the global economy in the coming decades. I love the fact that one of history's greatest heroes had a job title, agronomist, that most of us have never even heard of. And because greenhouse gases remain in the atmosphere for so long, the planet will stay warm for a long time, even after we get to zero. It's hard to think of a better response to a miserable 2020 than spending the next 10 years dedicating ourselves to this ambitious goal. As the world eats more meat, it accelerates the deforestation in Latin America. More burgers anywhere mean fewer trees there. 51 billion is how many tons of greenhouse gases the world typically adds to the atmosphere every year. The Green Revolution focused on the big three, maize, rice and wheat. And the Green Revolution did not adapt the big three to African conditions other than South Africa as much as they should have. Strategically, a major function of the CEO is to look for bad news and encourage the organization to respond to it. Employees must be encouraged to share bad news as much as good news. The truth of Moore's law has made remarkable things possible. On the software side, I think natural user interfaces in all their forms are equally significant. Today, we're very dependent on cheap energy. We just take it for granted. All the things you have in the house, the way industry works. The internet is the easiest thing to get into. To be an internet retailer, you just get that URL. 